and welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and to everybody on YouTube for some Orzov Control and Historic. As you can see, Hawkeye wanted to introduce the deck himself. Um, but yeah, we're going to be playing some, some Historic uh, Best of Three here with Orzov Control. So we're going to be playing it over in Ranked. Um, we had a, a donation to play some, um, some Orzov Control in Historic. And so this is what I put together. Um, all right, so talk about the deck a little bit. Oh, no. Hawkeye's leaving. Oh, and he's coming back. Maybe not. Oh, there he is. Um, <clears throat> so we're just, you know, a deck filled with removal and then using Phyrexian Arena as card advantage. This is, you know, the card that's in Historic Anthologies um, that can, you know, can get you just a, a ton of card advantage. Every single turn you're drawing a card, losing a life. So we're just trying to grind out opponents with just a bevy of removal spells and using those Phyrexian Arenas. Ooh, got the tail whip um, for our card advantage. Um, I am worried. The one thing I'm kind of worried about this is I'm worried that over time we're going to be losing too much life and we're not going to be able to end games fast enough uh, and that, that we'll die to lose in life. And so that's why I'm playing, you know, like Revitalizes, which is just a pretty solid card anyway. But, you know, that, that three life can be pretty valuable um, in a cycler. And then, of course, we have the Noxious Grass to gain life, Grass's Contempt. Um, if we're attacking with Murderous Rider with a Life Link, it's why I'm playing one Oath of Kaya to have another thing that can gain life, and also why I'm really why I'm playing Kaya Orzov Usurper. So this can you know either tick up and gain two life if we're exiling a uh, creature from a graveyard, or of course the minus five we can gain a good amount of life with the minus five. And I'm paying I'm pairing Kaya with Ashiok. I was I was just gonna be playing Ashiok. I was. Like originally, I was kind of play. I was thinking about playing Karn Scion of Urza here instead of Kaya, but de decided to go with Kaya because there's also a good amount of permanents that cost one or less um, in the format. You know, like there's a good amount of mana creatures and aggro decks that have one drops. Like one drops are are what all of the aggro decks are about. Um, maybe we run into like Witch's Oven, um, but you know, so there's there's a good amount of stuff that costs one mana uh, as far as permanents go. Um, you know, Legion's Landing. Um, but I wanted to main deck Ashiok because of two of the two of the best and uh, most important decks in the format are Kethys combo and Field of the Dead, and both of those Ashiok is awesome against. And so I was basically thinking that we'll have just you know like generic black white removal spells for all the creature decks, and then against those those two kind of combo decks, Field of the Dead and Kethys, we'll have our main deck Ashioks that uh, can help a lot there. And plus, like, Esper Control is a pretty big deck, and maybe maybe just Ashiok against the Control deck can help take uh, their win conditions away by milling them as well. Um, you know, it's also just pretty good against uh, Search for Escanta, which is which is a big card um, in, like, those the um, <clears throat> Nexus decks. Um, you know, you can just exile their, their library, or sorry, their graveyard there also, and then that should help our, our Kaya uh, win some games. So, uh, question is, how do we win against Nexus? That's going to be the one. Hey, what's up, Storm? Um, and Wrinkler, Rayday Pinball with the sub. Also, thank you, Rayday Pinball. Nexus is definitely going to be probably our, our worst matchup. That's the matchup that I don't really have a good plan against, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think I think Nexus is just going to be going to be really tough because we you. Honestly, you don't want Ashiok against Nexus because you don't want to exile like four cards from their library because you do not exile the Nexuses. The Nexuses never go to the graveyard uh, because of their replacement effect. They just get shuffled back in. And so if you just exile your opponent's library with Ashiok, they're just eventually going to be left with all Nexuses. You, the only way that will work is if you take their win con. You could potentially get their win cons, but if they have their win con in their hand... Um, you know, or anything. They're going to get to the point where they're just going to be able to cast Nexuses over and over and over again. <sighs> hey, Blue Gen. So, yeah. So, we have Mortify, which is very good against Nexus uh, by, you know, destroying Wilderness Reclamation and Ascanta. Got an extra to Spark and an extra Mortify over here. To Spark can take out Wilderness Reclamation. We have Duresses. It's so, like we have some pretty good interaction for him. You know, decent interaction for him. Noxious Grasp is actually pretty good because it kills, like, Tamiyo, you know. 
But the thing is, is I don't have a fat. The reason why it's such a bad matchup is because I don't have a fast enough clock. Even though we can have some interaction, they're just going to draw some more cards, and we don't have a fast enough way to win the game um, before they really do all their Nexus stuff. So, oh well. Um, I I kind of feel like we'd have to like dip into blue for um, Unmoored Ego because I couldn't really think of like anything like really like some like hammer card like something really good against Nexus. Um, honestly, with Orzov, and maybe I'm forgetting something. So if you're watching on YouTube, feel free to put in the comment section if you know uh, something for Nexus. I mean, I I want that's why we're playing all these Mortifies instead of other removal spells though, because um, because it kills uh, Wilderness Reclamation and as Kanta. Um, but so like instead of just playing more Riders and Contempts, that's why I'm playing the Mortifies. But I'm just I just don't think I'll have a fast enough clock for them. Um. But yeah, then then uh, sideboard. Um, obviously, we have like the duresses for Nexus, um, and just other and control decks. Uh, more cheap removal. I kind of I'm just going with a Cryler Carnarium. That was like my last sideboard card just to kind of fit in here. But just more removal, including a contempt, a settle, one instant speed stuff against like Gruel decks. Um, and, you know, decks with haste creatures. A settle obviously not the best against Gruel because of Gruel Spellbreaker, but. Um, I think I like playing a settle um, more than a five mana sweeper like a Realm Cloak Giant. Got the fourth Ashiok in the board, and also I'm gonna play two Eldritch Reborn for um, other grindy decks, like other uh, like basically like Teferi decks that are just trying to play a lot, or like decks that are playing a good amount of Planeswalkers. Basically, decks that don't have like cheap creatures where like Kaya's Wrath isn't very good. Then we're gonna be bringing in Eldritch Reborn because they probably have a couple of threats like where you can make them sacrifice it and also just kind of gain the value that Eldritch Reborn can. Um so that's that's my plan. Could go with four Gideon in the sideboard. Gideon Blackblade to bring those in. Could be an option. Alright, let's see how this goes though. So we'll play. The only way to play traditional historic is with ranked. So even though we're kind of doing a, a donation deck here and we're we're playing, you know, just kind of a, a a brew. I guess we have to just take it right to the fire and take it to ranked immediately. But we had a really good rank up day yesterday, and so even if we rank down a little bit, um, we'll be doing okay. And then maybe we can get some rank back with. As for heroes and Selesnya Knights later on. No, I haven't played a Dance of the Man's deck anytime recently. No, I only played a, a Dance of the Man's deck, like, I think just one time. I don't love having two six drops immediately against a Gruul deck. Oh, yeah, Dragon Welt. But, you know, I like the Scry Land, I like the Revitalize. Help us get started. Yeah, correct. They they do not have traditional historic leagues. The five win or two losses, no. And not even just like a regular play queue. You know, you can't even just go to like a play queue and play traditional historic. You can only play traditional historic and ranked. And best of one, there's no ranked. There's only a just the play queue. <laughs> Rude. Um, I think we'll just go ahead and pay two life to mortify this rampaging uh, Ferocidon. I hope they don't just have like experimental frenzy now, though. All right, look for a land drop. Got it. These revitalizers have been really nice, though. The good old gain nine. I 
Basically, it's just experimental frenzy is like the only thing I need to be worried about. About it feels like from here. And hopefully we draw two more lands. We could have an Ugin that can destroy that. Or we're just not going to draw lands ever. I am that which You're fine. My dreams dissipate like smoke. All right, see, so Ashiok is still too loud. Okay. Got the win. Revitalize was really good. All right, so we're going to be taking out Ashiok. Um, we'll bring in the Legion's End, the Cry of the Carnarium, the Contempt, Extra Mortify. Um, sure, bring in a Settle. Could see playing Dispark. I don't think I want Phyrexian Arena, even though I would like Phyrexian Arena. I don't think that I'm supposed to be playing that. I guess I'm not supposed to be playing Noxious Grasp. Hmm. Um, Eldest Reborn? I need three more slots, so Duress, Eldest Re Reborn, Dispark. So right now I have four Mortifies to kill and an Ugin to kill Experimental Frenzy. I think I don't want Settle. And I'm going to play the Dispark. And I'm going to play two Duress and one Eldest Reborn. No, we're not playing Eldest Reborn. All right, three Duress. Duress is just a bad card late game, though. Hmm. Alright, playing a settle. <clears throat> Obnixilus the Hate Twisted for Nexus. Yeah, that didn't cost five. Every time they draw, they take a damage. That could could maybe do something. I mean, we have our lands this time. One good spell. Now we just ship it. All right. Well, um, let's see how good Kaiserath is. I mean, I would just like the options. Like, sometimes I would want to play best of one ranked. Sometimes I want to play best of three that's not ranked. Yeah, I would... I mean, I understand that, that they don't want to... They don't want to split the card pool too much of, like, people playing... Um, ranked or unranked. You know, like, they want, they want people to be able to find matches. So I, I could understand they want all the best of one players in the same place and all the best of three players in the same place. But I think if you increase options, you'll you'll increase the amount of people that want to be Can I just play this as a two three lifelinker now? No, probably not. If you increase options, I think you'll just increase the, the card pool, basically. I don't know why you wouldn't attack. 
I guess if they expected me to have instant speed removal and they want me if I if they tapped it then I'd I would kill it instant speed there. I guess that's why. Those revitalizes would come in clutch right about now. Good thing we used the Legion's End before, so we saved the cast down. Well, we're out of stuff. Gotten three lands in a row. I think I just let him block and sack. I think that's fine. Keep the Legion's End. Yeah, I don't think Doom for Toll would really work too well against Nexus. Can't gain life right now. Didn't see a door, so I let myself. So we'll just exile two spells. You bet you beat me this time. Bravo. Yeah, because of the Ferocid on, we can't gain life. So I just didn't need to exile a creature yet. And of course, you want to just exile one creature. You don't want to exile two creatures. You just want to exile one creature. Um, so that you can exile one creature at a time. So right now, they have nine creature, nine cards in exile. So I could ultimate and do nine to them, and I gain nine, but nine doesn't kill them. Now they have 11 in exile. So that'll do it. Now we can minus minus five. Your loss is my gain. Get back up to nineteen. Okay. Oh, whoops. <laughs> we can we can put the one in the other column. There we go. GGs.
All right, we'll keep a good old four lander. Dragon Whelp. Hey, David Fast. Yummy papayas. That's a really cool word, papaya. That's a fun one to say. Papaya. Um, so why, why did they, when creating historic, was why they create pioneer when historic was necessary? I mean, I think that there's just, you know, like there, there's definitely different, different markets for them. And like the pioneer, um, you know, creating pioneer was really good. You know, that's basically like the, the you know, the frontier format that, that people have been calling for, for a while and, you know, supporting it immediately. That's, that's really good. Um, but it's just kind of too difficult to to get all the stuff in Pioneer onto Arena right away. It's just so many sets and everything. And um, I did say that over time, their their goal is to have Pioneer on on Arena, but it's a long term project. But eventually, we should have Pioneer on Arena. So they said in their last state of the program update when they were talking about historic. <laughs> You're playing the deck right, right now, Kia. And then he said Ashok is an instant scoop for the Kethis decks. Nice. Glad you're enjoying it though, Key. Kai's just not doing anything. I hope you've said your goodbyes already. But oh, I guess we play it. Sure. It did something. It traded. Hey Thor. Plans for the the holiday weekend? I'm going to be heading over to uh, my friend David's house. Y'all know him as uh, boot to the head here in chat. Uh, he's around all the time, but gonna be spending time with um, him and his family for for Thanksgiving, and I'll just be taking the weekend off for the first time all year. So hopefully, hopefully when I come back to work on on Monday. Y'all are still around, and everybody doesn't forget about the stream and YouTube channel and everything. Let us march into battle and make new comrades. This is it looks like this is going to be kind of difficult for the cards that I have right now. Sunbird's invocation. Well then. Rise and shine. Thanks, Thor. Yeah, it'll be a great time. <laughs> hey, what's up, Pause? Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Alright, GG's. So John to land destruction, huh? Land destruction with field of the dead.
So a bunch of casualties of war. Sunbird's invocation, ha haphazard bombardment. So yeah, we're definitely gonna need our Disparks and Mortifies. Um, I was thinking about just playing like these Legion's Ends because they, you know, just kill zombies, I guess. Let's give this a try. Hey, Shabby. Yeah, um, yeah, you could play like, yeah, uh, Realm Cloak Giant, Cleansing Nova. Those are definitely other options. Uh, I'm, I'm just going with Kaya's Wrath and Saddle the Wreckage. It's Kaya's Wrath's really not that difficult to cast in this deck. We have 12 dual lands. It's pretty easy to cast. And against the aggro decks, I really want the sweeper on turn four instead of turn five. It's a big difference. Hey, Morgan. Just thinking about, I was definitely thinking about just playing it on turn two. So they have a one lander, Gift of Paradise, prim Primal Amulet. It's definitely one of these two. I'll take the Gift of Paradise. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you can definitely have a, a deck similar to this in the current standard metagame, um, which which I've played. Yeah, we played Norzov Control that's kind of similar to this, uh, not not too long ago. It had you know like Liliana at six and and uh, Cavalier, white the white Cavalier at five. Hmm. Dealing with this primal amulet is going to be kind of rough. Hey, Triton. I was hoping by taking that, that other card that maybe it would slow him down. Maybe I could find a duress or something, but maybe I should have just taken the primal amulet. I don't know. I don't. I guess I don't really mind. I guess I don't really... Yeah, I don't mind taking that ramp. I think that was fine. How does this card work with Ashiok? I got I don't know how that card works with Ashiok. Does Ashiok just continue and then they, they still exile the cards? And then they don't reshuffle? Okay, it does nothing. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, do you think maybe the the Simic Stompy decks are too strong for the environment? I, d I don't know about that. There's there's a lot of good stuff in Historic. So I could have shocked in to revitalize. Ugh. 
Casualties of war is such a beating. You had some dead <laughs> you better well done look to see all right well, we got one uh, field of the dead gone and one casualties of war So we have mortifies for the big enchantments like haphazard bombardment and um, sunbird's invocation. Must have seen so the reason why my opponent cast cry the carnarium there is to do get cards out of their hand to make their black castle better. Yeah, just none of these are playable. Not even all these cards are very good either. You got a lot of cards that aren't very good. Okay, yeah, so even if Blessing goes on the stack mid Ashiok activation, you finish exiling before any sh any shuffling would happen. Makes sense. <laughs> yep, we're definitely in control deck here. Alright, so a couple of Bond of Flourishings, they're going to be able to hit their land drops just fine, and especially that Gift of Paradise. Um, we do have the Field of Ruin to punish them for Gift of Paradise here, though, if they put it on a non-basic. Seems likely. Yep. <laughs> this will be child's play. Bye-bye. You won. This time. <laughs> yeah, Phyrexian Arena is so good. That'd be, a, that'd be a really good draw for us. Getting some more Phyrexian Arenas. That's a great card. Could have a fourth one of those in the sideboard instead of the second Eldest Reborn over here. Could just have a fourth arena in the sideboard for slower matchups where 
our life total isn't under duress. So this is basically just, they discard a card next turn. Uh, I need Mortify. That's not good. I need Mortify. Or Spark. Gift of Paradise, man, four lands? Ugh. Gift of Paradise isn't really the best card to be playing with Field of the Dead. Because it's not an extra land. Gross. Oh, that was a great turn for them. I wish I would have just let them draw those four lands. Mm, glad to be here. Your problems are my profits. Dream be. Behold. Remember your nightmares remain. You want something banished? Funny, that's what I do. I don't think I play Murderous Rider out into a potential casualties of war. Hopefully they whiff, no casualties. Okay, they got a haphazard bombardment. Uh, we really need to find our disenchants. Okay, good. All right, so now I need. Oh gosh, this is even going to kill them. You're not well. <laughs> I had guild business to attend to anyway. Yeah, they're at thirty-five. Uh, that's just game. This thing's over. Basically, they're just going to destroy all my lands. Another bombardment. Yeah, some birds of vacation is a good one. That's a good one. They had just a couple of really good rips there. My Ashiok really helped them out, unfortunately. Exile lands and then got them right to their spells they wanted. That happens. That happens. <laughs> yeah, my opponent was going some birds of vacation, haphazard bombardment, casualties of war, combining all those. Ooh, love it. We get Phyrexian Arena. <laughs> yeah, it always. Yeah, that is extra sad when your Ashiok loses your game by improving their draws. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing, you know, you're just exiling four random cards. It's not like, you know, it's the same amount of chance it could have been the other way around where Ashiok wins you the game because you exile, you know, the haphazard bombardments and casualties of war and stuff like that. It's. Basically, it's not something that you just don't... Hmm. You don't, you don't not activate Ashiok in fear of it improving your opponent's draws. Thorn of good. It's not really a card I want to swift end. I 
So obviously against the elf deck, we want to draw Kaya's Wrath. We get a couple draws a turn for that. Not bad. Not bad either. Let's use the Murderous Rider here instead of Noxious Grasp to use my to use all my mana. We can still double spell next turn with like Murderous Rider and Noxious Grasp if we <coughs> draw a land. Not that land though. We're gonna go revitalize route instead of contempt to see if we you know give us another draw towards Kai's Wrath. Because that's obviously just like the It's just what the game's about there. That should be game now. I mean we just gotta make sure we can kill our opponent before I take eleven from this arena. That's what we gotta watch out for. Ooh, that's a good one. Could go infinite. Could go infinite. Keep on drawing those. Why not Lily the last turn? Because I wanted to play Murderous Rider. I wanted to get the the Murderous the life linking Murderous Rider into play. So we had seven mana, so I could Kaya's Wrath plus Murderous Rider. Like yeah, I could Lily on a minus, but I I really valued the life link with the Murderous Rider getting that in play. And of course, I wanted to cast Kaya's Wrath before I got it in play as well. So it just worked out really well playing both of those. All right, we drew both of our. We drew both of our Noxious Grasps, and they were awesome. <laughs> this is a lot of removal. This is a lot of removal. I guess the card that I'd have to be scared the most about is the art, the five mana artifact. I could be playing that to draw him a lot of cards. Yeah, this this seems like maybe maybe our best matchup. Um. Could take out a Legion's End. Maybe just take out the Settle. I'll take out a Mortify. Three mana only kills a creature, doesn't. Doesn't get rid of a Planeswalker if they have those. One for one at three mana. All right, can I get that Mortify back? I need Mortify back. Kill this thing. What I put down here? Okay, that's fine. Huh. All my lands coming to play tapped, actually. What's our win con? Just attacking our opponent with some creatures with Liliana and uh, 
Um, Murderous Rider and Ugin. <laughs> yeah, that Veil of Summer card seems really strong. Haven't really seen that one before. Hopefully we get more than just this one Thorn Lieutenant. Shaper Sanctuary is being quite problematic. There we go. Don't have to worry about them drawing more cards. That's a good draw. This isn't your average zombie. That's a really good draw. a good death whale. I'm not sure if I really want to play Phyrexian Arena it's at 10 life. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're just going to sit back and make creatures. Okay. Looks like my choice of playing a whole bunch of mortifies is working out that definitely made my life easier even though we only used one targeting spell after we mortified it wasn't that much easier I suppose GG's
Hey, Flarm, happy Tur- Tur- Happy Turkmas Eve. <laughs> Play first. All right, hopefully Kaya's Wrath is good against our opponent. Revitalize is just fine. I'm not gonna play it till turn three. Yeah, it's fine, we'll just keep it. So all these tap lands. That's a good sign for Kaya's Wrath. Hmm. So I could just Kaya and exile the Landwar Elf here. Then maybe they attack Kaya and saves saves me seven life. The biggest worry would be them playing a planeswalker. I think that's a, there's a less of a chance of them playing a planeswalker if they don't have land war elf. I'm gone for now, but not forever. Jund. Sweet. So yeah, Rotting Registrar is just kind of a, a card that it's... It's good to have your opponent on top with it because they have to discard. So it's like... Killing this thing as late as possible is the best you can be doing. I could just take seven, you know, gain my three. Untap and Kaya's Wrath it. Hmm. Again, normally I would just be if that was just like just a normal seven six, I'd be casting Kaya's Wrath. But I want them discarding, you know, like they've already discarded three cards. So I could have gone Liliana Minus and taken both of them out. The problem with Liliana Minus is if they have haste. So we've seen like with these things, if they just had a haste creature to kill Liliana. That would be the problem, problem with Liliana Minus. I do hope you make this battle exciting. Putrid, but effective. Uncivilized. This gives me mortify in case there's another questing beast. Rise. <laughs> wow, this looks like a fun new toy. There seem to be a good amount of creature decks here in this format, and we're looking pretty good against these creature decks. Which is what I thought was going to be the case, which is why I was willing to main deck Ashiox to help out against Kethis and Field of the Dead.
Don't think I want the fourth Legion's End. Or the Cry of the Carnarium. Just go one for X scenery now. Alright, let's see how we do. Silly field of ruin. More like field of ruin in my Kai's wrath. Alright, turn two rotting register again. That could hurt. Ow. So it's either destroy their overgrown tomb. Or Legion's End of 1-1. One, one. I'm going to destroy the Overgrown Tomb. It's possible they're not playing Basic Swamp. In this three-color deck with the mana base here. It's possible they needed Mountain instead. Not dead yet. I don't have any instant speed removal right now, though. All right, now we do. Hmm. Certainly a risk. And I guess I just, I took the one, you know, like, the risk with that one turn of tapping out for that Eldest Reborn, get this thing in. Um, and yeah, I just don't think we have to really tap out anymore. Uh, sure, actually, I won't land. Stay. Should be able to get this from here. Unless they have... Hmm. Yeah, I guess they could have Bone Crusher Giant, couldn't they? But we'd have, yeah, the Contempt would gain us two life in response. 
I guess so. Yeah, if they if they would have just kept the card in hand, I'd have to worry about. Um, I'd have to be worried about that and no, not to tap out. But they've been just playing these lands, so. All right, three one. This is very similar to the elf match where it kind of looked bad for us for a little while, but then we pulled ahead. I'm not. I'm obviously not gonna add. Activate the castle. I'm just gonna make sure I could respond with a contempt. Yeah, it would be dead to lightning strike if they were playing that card. All right, three and one. Let's play one more match. Those went pretty fast, so we got time for one more. Ooh, we leveled up. Got some gems and some XP. The next level is what, I, what we need. We need two Mastery Orbs. That would be good. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's, it is more difficult to remember all the spells the opponent deck could include when you're playing Historic. That's for sure. But the more, the more you play Historic, the more, you know, you kind of start remembering them and everything like that. Same kind of thing for somebody who plays like limited every set and you know drafts every single set and then play standard and they're like, oh, I don't remember what was two sets ago. Yeah, it's the same same ranking uh, for standard or historic for ranked. Am I going to stream Historic Popper? Um, I don't know. I, I don't think so. Because I think it's just this weekend, I think. And I'm, I will not be streaming this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm taking the weekend off. So I don't think so. That card's banned once upon a time. Opponent's cheating. Damn, you better watch your back from here on out. Yeah, watch your back. Your bow. I hope they don't have Questing Beast. So I'm doing this main phase so that we get to exile it and gain the two life. Hey, Radical Guru. Good evening. What are doing for the holiday vacation? Yeah, just um, going to be... I think we just... Pack your bags and hit the road. Pass. And we head into my heading into my friend's house, uh, join their family for thanks for the Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, David, you know, boots the head here in chat, and so it should be a good time. And I mean, it will be. Was that dear to you? You beat me this time. So just ex exiling the one creature, because you, you only you don't get any value if you exile two creatures. I have survived Nico Bolos, and I will survive you. Bye bye. You better watch your back from here on out. Sounds like a threat. Well, Ashiok can take down my Planeswalkers. Or, sorry. Vivian can take down my Planeswalkers. Is that a blue spell? Spells. 
Bell Pierce and Oko. Oh no. I don't want my opponent playing Oko. So we need three more Ashiok activations. Yep, hand to boots hair. Or <laughs> boots house. Hey, open minded. Enjoying stream. Uh, yeah, the Gruel Henge yesterday. Yep, that was a lot of fun. That was a good deck. <laughs> Oak no. The Thief of Crowns. So yeah, they're they're kind of de probably debating about the minus five with Vivian. That'd be my assumption there. I would not mind if they used the minus five. I'd rather them get a creature than have that Vivian in play. That's a big bird. We're fit enough to survive. Let's. I had guild business to attend to anyway. You're fine. Remember. Hey, Zedalam. Your nightmares. I only got rid of... Okay, so we got rid of two blue sources. That's good. Definitely feels like my opponent is looking for blue sources. One arrow knocked. Hope you're ready. That's unfortunate. I was hoping they were going to grab Shifting Ceratops. I think I could take five to draw a card. <laughs> I bet you can't hit me again. <laughs> You're not welcome. I'm going to make myself scarce. You. Well, now they can't minus their Vivian to kill kill my planeswalkers. So that's good. Stomping time. The undead make great minions. Loyal from battle to the grave. Be gone. Well done. Look to see me. They still got 31 cards in library. It's, you know, we're not that close to milling them out yet. I leave you with Make that 27. Got rid of two more breeding pools. Okay. So yeah, we saw Spell Pierce there. That's got to be one that I need to remember to try to play around. Team Frog. What's up, Team Frog MTG? Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Bring in the hype boats. Thank you, Team Frog. So I'm I don't know if I really actually want Ashiok again. Again, like the, the Ashiok. You know, it didn't actually, like, really do anything. Hey. ZYXW. 
Also getting that sub. Thank you so much there, Santa Paul, for gifting out that sub. And I fight whales with my fist. Long time watcher of the stream. Also getting that gifted sub. Thank you, Paul. Okay, let's see. So we're at 67. So yeah, definitely thinking about just taking out the Ashiox. Hey, <laughs> you got paid today. Well, thank you so much there, Paul. Um, yeah, Settle could be okay. Planeswalkers are kind of a problem for me. A little bit. Oh, no, we got Murder Riders and Contempts. We're good. All right, this is 63. Um... I guess we're taking out Kai also. Would you recommend the Gruel Henge deck from yesterday with the main as is for best of one? It's a good question. I'd have to I'd have to pretty I'd have to uh, check it out some more, but maybe with best of one you don't want Bronzodon and Sunder Shaman, and maybe you want Bone Crusher Giants instead. Because you, you want more remove... Yeah, I think I'd probably change that. I'd probably take out those three for Brontodons. I mean, I guess I guess Fire Zone Invention's really big in, in Best of One, too, though. I kind of feel like you just want Bone Crusher Giants in the deck in Best of One. Maybe instead of Ravager Worms. Maybe you don't want it to go all the way up to Ravager Worm in Best of One. Because, you know, you do play against more aggro decks there also. No, I don't think... Yeah, I think the raise board is too expensive for the Gruul deck. Um, I think by the time... Like, if you have... Um, if you have uh, the Henge in play and, and therefore you have enough mana for... Um, for Endrace Forerunners and everything, like, you're, you're probably doing just fine with that game anyway. So I could have Noxious Grasp that, but I want to save Noxious Grasp. I want to save Noxious Grasp for Oko. I missed a sub! There you go. Thank you so much there, Hazuki. Oh yeah, El yeah. Elbly getting that sub. I threw the hype boats out there. I counted over there. Alright, so that's number seven. Thanks for that resub there, Hazuki. Okay. It doesn't seem like my opponent's playing Basic Island. And one, one man cold. Half a year now. Getting the historic hype in there. Thanks, one man cold. Now we are on the the sub hype this game here. Thanks, y'all. So yeah, they could have Veil of Summer, but now they can't have Spell Pierce. Ah, uh, they did have Veil. Hey, what's up, Locke? Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Locke wants to join in on the hype. Come on. Another one. The boats are coming in. The Armada of Hype.
Hey, yeah, it's, it's okay to play best of one. Nothing wrong with that, LB. <laughs> yeah, Veil needs to be banned in Historic. That's fine. There's a lot of great stuff to be doing in Historic. My favorite Thanksgiving food? Uh, it, it could be stuffing, honestly. I really like stuffing and mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes is good, too. I like green beans. I like pumpkin pie. Ease them with the Twitch Prime sub. I should probably eat more pies. I basically never eat pie... Ever. Except for Thanksgiving. Yeah, it definitely feels like my opponent has Spell Pierce. I'm trying to play around Spell Pierce for sure. That gets us to sub number 10 on the day. My computer doesn't like me trying to put hype boats into the chat while streaming. There you go. Give me that life back, Murderous Rider. I need more life. Starman! Getting in the, the Thanksgiving uh, mood here. Ziffler. Getting that gifted sub. Welcome to the stream, Ziffler. Well, that's a problem. Millions of questing beasts and Veil of Summers got us. Do I play Duress instead of Legion's End? Like, Legion's End is just going to be for the mana creatures, of course. Yeah, let's try that. Least favorite Thanksgiving dish. Are there any bad ones? I can't think of any that aren't good. Cranberry sauce? Yeah, I never I never got into the cranberry sauce at all. That's that's something like my family never did growing up. Yams? I don't even know what those are. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a difference between, I mean, Arena wouldn't lag for me if I wasn't streaming. There's a difference between just just playing Arena, my computer would be fine, but it's it's the recording, it's the streaming and recording, especially the recording, as well, which is which is why my stream lags. I like sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are good.
sweet potatoes are divisive. All right, we can we can pull it. We'll do a 45 second poll. Yay or nay on sweet potatoes. Yay or nay on sweet potatoes. I'm definitely definitely in the yay category. Sweet potatoes are are tasty. Could have spell pierce here. Could have played around it too. Okay, it was just negate. Can't play around negate really. So that's fine. It takes them off a of blue mana for this turn. Whoa, that is. We had 19 people said nay and 18 people said yay. Wow. That is so close, but. I am surprised. Oh, really, Duress? All right, we well, got got pretty punished. It looks like for for casting the Kai's Wrath there, instead of just like holding up Mortify. Oh, I mean, I like I like regular mashed potatoes also. I like regular potatoes too. I don't I don't think that those I don't think you just because you like regular potatoes means you can't like sweet potatoes also. You take a poll on pineapple on pizza. So I'm doing Liliana minus. So I think we just grab the grab the goose that can get us the food. My army will envelop this world. Obviously, if my opponent draws Questing Beast the to shambles. on Scalloped Potatoes, I don't, I guess I just don't really know much at all about Scalloped Potatoes. I don't think I like them. I think I remember having Scalloped Potatoes when I was younger and not really liking them, but I, I honestly just don't really know. I'm not, Rise and not too well informed on what scallop potatoes are like. So saving duress until we need to actually play a spell, it seems kind of likely that they have a counter spell in hand. Yeah, so what happened to vampire decks? Basically all the all the good vampires rotated out of standard. They're not in standard anymore. 
So that's that's why nobody plays vampires because um, they left standard at rotation, and there's just not there's not good vampires anymore. Okay, so it's sliced potatoes, you add a bunch of cream and cheese and bake it, it's super rich. Gotcha. So yeah, I, I think I like, I that sounds like something I'd like less than normal potatoes. I'm not a huge cream and cheese kind of person. That three life is pretty important. So we just gained there. <laughs> Good help is easy to find in war. Mm. Every tale about me is absolute nonsense and absolutely true. Let's broaden your existence. So we've only seen one Veil of Summer so far this game. I really need to contempt that Oko. I'm not sure how the best to play around Veil of Summer is. I just realized I'm watching chat argue about potatoes and not pay attention to the game at all. I mean, that really is the game if you think about it. Oh, historic vampires? Okay, you meant historic vampires. Um, yeah, I've I've played against historic vampires a couple of times. We just, we honestly have just haven't played that much historic, but um, it's possible. Waste not, want not. It's possible the how good the rest of. The cards are in historic and everything that it kind of gets overshadowed. Alright, well, that plays around Veil of Summer. Sacrifice Inoko. Sagas are so obnoxious. I love them. Especially Eldest Reborn. Yeah, I like the Sagas. I think that's really cool. I'm glad they're coming back for Theros. No, I don't I don't have any plans for the Historic Popper event. I think that's just going to be like a, a weekend thing this weekend. And I'm going to be taking the weekend off. So I don't have any Historic Popper plans. Hey, there's Boot. All right, we, we went four and one with Orzov Control and Historic in Mythic. Look at us ranking up. We got up to number 177. Look at that. Historic con historic Orzov Control. The deck felt really strong. You know, we played against a lot of creature decks, and we were killing all their creatures, doing exactly what our deck's supposed to do. We did not play against Nexus, which I think is going to be our worst matchup, thankfully. Hey, Boot. So, yeah, so there's Orzov Control. Um, even though, you know, like, Kaya and Ashiok weren't anything special, but we didn't really play against the combo decks, like, where you really want them. Or against Control. Like, other Control decks will be kind of a problem because our deck has so much removal, like, we'll play against Esper Control. But that's what having all these Ashioks in the main deck help with. Phyrexian Arena was of course awesome. Liliana was just amazing. 
Um, yeah, Liliana was just really good. It's possible it should just be three Liliana, no Ugin. But there's definitely enchantments that you want to kill with Ugin and stuff too, though. But we did we did a really good job drawing Liliana and not drawing Ugin. And the Lilianas were awesome. Yeah, this deck, this deck was fun to play. Lots of green creatures. And we did a good job destroying said green creatures. So there we go. There's there's some hype. Some good old 4-1 uh, in Mythic with Orzhov Control ranking up there. All right. Uh, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed Orzhov Control as well. Um, if so, hit that like button over there. Uh, sub to the channel. Also, leave comments. Let me know if I'm missing something that maybe we should be doing against Nexus, if there's some way to shut down Nexus or some hate card or something. I don't know. I don't know exactly what to do there. But um, anyway, yeah, that's, that's it here for Orzov Control. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.